Google Scholar is a search tool that limits its contents to web pages from the world of science and university. The results from a search differs from ordinary Google. The search in Google Scholar is performed in a mechanically produced content. There's a well-known search form, it's free of charge, almost always hits, but the number of hits can be large and irrelevant. It's up to date with new subjects. There's often full text. If the material is not free on the web, it may be available via the University Library's SFX server. Find it at lnu.se. There are search forms in different languages. There's also grey material, that is, in order to find material that maybe hasn't been published the traditional way. Searchable references means that all the references in the articles are searchable. You can see who and what has been cited. Mechanical selection. Contents are chosen by machines. No list of publication, that is, no account of which universities or journals you are gathering information from. This also leads to an uneven choice of subjects. This is important for a systematic search or how you can control it. That is, Google Scholar is not an option if your assignment is to do a systematic literature search. The material has not been indexed, that is, provided with describing subject words to continue your search with. This is how a reference in Google Scholar may look like. These are logotypes for some general databases. A database is a collection of information that has been stored systematically in order to be received quickly. There is a person behind this. Someone has made a selection, put together and treated the information to make it searchable. There are a number of different databases. Full text, reference and fact databases with different types of contents interdisciplinary, subject-related or popular science. Databases also contain different types of publications, books, articles, patents, etc. A database contains an index with information on the subject you cover, geographic limitations and the time factor. This is one of the prerequisites for being able to perform a systematic literature search. Help sections and different instructional films, so-called Tutorials are normally included, and you can also choose different search forms to control the number of hits and relevance. All material added in a database is indexed and provided with subject terms to describe the contents. When a database has a list of subject terms, a so-called thesaurus, the producer uses it to describe the material. Similar phenomena are thus described with the same words, which facilitates the search. Databases are often owned by companies with commercial interests. Searching in these databases is not free of charge. The library pays a subscription fee to supply the databases to the university library's patrons. Since the material in the databases is processed prior to publication, there may be a delay before it is accessible. This is the same reference in Academic Search Elite that we saw earlier in Google Scholar. Searching in Google Scholar or searching in a database both have their advantages and disadvantages. You have to work your way through it from occasion to occasion.